Oil. Show in this video how to install and start Huawei NE40e router and Cloud Engine 12800 on EVE Engine. Open Wayne SSP to transfer the configuration template of Huawei NE40e router, which is .yaml, to EVNG path slash opt slash unitlab slash html slash templates slash intel. Let's transfer the file now. After we transferred the file, we can find it here. Second step is to create a new directory in evng. We have to go to directory slash opt slash unit lab slash addons slash qemu then we create a new directory for Huawei and E40e router we create the directory using command make dir and the new directory name is Huawei NE40 hyphen NE40 let's make sure that it's created using ls hyphen l to list the created directories we can find here the newly created directory for Huawei NE40e router Next is to open WinSP again and transfer the image to the path. We go to the directory of eve slash opt slash unit lab slash addons slash qemu and open the newly created directory Huawei NE40e router and transfer the image of NE40e router which is hda.qcow2 it's transferred successfully we can check here on the terminal by going to the created directory and list the files in this directory we can find that hda.qcow2 is transferred which is the image of Huawei NE40e router this is the configuration template of Huawei NE40e router .yaml file for evng it contains the description of the router Huawei NetEngine-40e and the name NE40e CPU limit router .bng which is the icon and the required number of CPUs the RAM memory and number of Ethernet interfaces same steps for Huawei Cloud Engine 12800 using when SSP, we will transfer the configuration template file of Huawei Cloud Engine 12800.yaml file to EVNG. The path is slash opt slash unit lab slash HTML slash templates slash enter and transfer the file we can find the file here is already transferred Huawei Cloud Engine 12800.yaml file the YAML file contains the configuration template for the Cloud Engine of 12800 including the description 
name, CPU limit, icon type, number of CPUs required, RAM, number of Ethernet interfaces. Next step is to transfer CE image to EVNG. The CE image is used in the lab topology. We are going to transfer to EVNG slash opt slash unit lab slash HTML slash images slash icons. We can make sure that it's transferred here. And finally, we go to the terminal of if VM and create a new directory. Let's go to the directory of slash opt slash unit lab slash addons slash QMU and make new directory for the Cloud Engine 12800. I will make a new directory and name it as Huawei CE12800 and specifying the version in the name as V2R5 C10 and then transfer the image using when SSP to this directory. This is the image and this is if I need to change the path to be slash opt slash unit lab slash addons slash QMU and we can refresh here and find that Huawei Cloud Engine 12800 and then I'm going to transfer the image which is hda.qcow2 now I'm going to go to the directory of Huawei Cloud Engine and make sure that the image is transferred to this directory. Finally, I'm going to fix permissions. I have connected to EVNG and made web login to it, opened this lab which consists of Linux desktop terminal and a switch. And now I'm going to add Huawei Cloud Engine 12800 and NE40E router. From the left side of the window, add an object, node, then search for Huawei. We have two devices added, Huawei Cloud Engine 12800 and Huawei Net Engine 40E. I'm going to select Huawei Net Engine 40E and minimize the number of Ethernet interfaces to 6. Then check for the required RAM and the console type is Telnet, then click Save. Also I'm going to add Cloud Engine. Then click save. Now I'm going to connect NE40E router and cloud engine to this switch. I'll select interface fast ethernet 1 slash 1 to be connected to Huawei NE40E router 100 and click save. And next, I'm going to connect the switch to 
Cloud Engine 12800. I'll connect it using Fast Ethernet 1 slash 2 and Giga Interface 100 from the Cloud Engine 12800, then click Save. Right click on each device, then click Start. Devices now have finished loading. I will check on them one by one using command display version. An E40E display version. We can find that an E40E V8R11. Cloud Engine 12800 display version. We can find CE12800 V2R5 C10. Thank you for viewing this video. I hope it can have a good value for you.